Hello and welcome back to Efraín Rodríguez Jr. show. The other day in Puerto Rico, a kid was on like joyride, you know, in a car. Uh, they were following him. He got into a dead end street, but he didn't stop. Went through a sidewalk and just kind of like um the Duke of Hazard. The kid uh, died. You know, um, it's sad that that happened. But some people don't understand that a vehicle can be a weapon. It can be a weapon. Let me explain you what happened in this a photo that I have behind me. Men wanted for human trafficking shot by deputies in DeSoto County. Cherry Office says. This is from Yahoo News. A man wanted for human trafficking violations was shot by the Soto County Sheriff deputies on Thursday, according to the Soto County Sheriff Department. The Sheriff Department said this shooting happened near Battelle Road and Highway 78 around 2.45 p.m. When Fox 13 crew arrived at the scene, law enforcement, enforcement was surrounding a truck outside a bright car wash location, which is in the 4800 block on Better Row, a man was taken to the hospital after being shot by a deputy at that scene, but is suspected to be okay. During the press conference following the shooting, spokesperson with the sheriff's department say that this shooting was a result of a sting operation targeting human traffickers. During the attempt arrest, the man attempted to run over the deputy with his car. Do you see what I just said about the 16-year-old kid that is no longer in this world because he decided to do something similar and, you know, I mean, it was an overkill because really everybody was, the weapons, you know, went off like crazy. It's sad, but this is what happened here. This guy tried to run over the deputy, the weapon, and he shot him. I mean, the guy is going to be okay. Not like the 16-year-old kid that is no longer here. So he was uh, taken into custody, and it will be charged with attempt murder, according to the DCSD, to report a human trafficking uh Contact the National Human Trafficking Hotline at 1-888-7, sorry about that, 373-7888 or email at help at human traffic hotline.org. It is important because sometimes we think this is only in the movies and it doesn't happen around us, but it does happen a lot. And we need to protect our own. It's sad, but it happens a lot. So now, I'm going to take you to, hey, you know, the mom. You know, it has something to say, you know. What's going on and this with Luma Energy in Puerto Rico is not good. They rise the price seven different times. You know, I don't blame them completely. You know, I blame more Biden for that because of the price of the oil but you know hey Biden is the guy who got 81 million votes so nobody can touch that old man especially when he falls out of the bike but this is happening it is happening so Jose Luis Del Mal to the governor he is alienated from reality or has no control of the government this is good it is good why? It's fiscalization. You have to talk about what, how bad the other guy is doing it. Or the other guy about to step down or a better job or try to fix what is going on. I think I just say the same thing twice, but it happens. But it's the other team stay quiet and don't say nothing. So who is the one suffering? President of the Senate announces legislation to address the health crisis and continue to oversee Luma Energy. 
The president of the Senate, Jose Luis Dalmao Santiago, said today that the governor, Pedro Pierluci, has been absent. Normal. Good. In dealing with the real problem that Puerto Ricans are experiencing in that crisis, health, education, energy, and water service. So they throw in the whole kitchen house to him. Good. Since I start this channel in January, I saw the way they were dealing with the kit and the school starting late. And I was like, I, I mean, the percentage of the kids dying of COVID, it was like 0. 0.00016 0. 0. 0. 0. <laughs> out of 800,000. I mean, it was just crazy, you know. They closed the other channel for seven days, and I'm like, what? And I'm a little old me talking about this, and then you're going to shut me down? All right. Now I'm going to talk more. That's why I continue with this channel. But I need your help. You can help me is subscribing to the channel, liking this channel, and maybe you too can just forward it to other people. I do this in bilingual, Spanish, English. So if you don't understand one, maybe you may not understand the other one, but Kind of 80% English, so hopefully you get it. So from there, and I know that was bad joke, corny joke, but we, uh, I gotta tell you this, 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 it was a 911 call from the Sioux. And we have a suspect. Yes, he is the suspect. They call and I want one suit from the suit and a monkey. It is the main suspect. Operator dispatch officer to investigate a possible emergency after receiving a call Saturday night that was later dropped. Oh, mysteriously. I mean, monkeys can't talk. California police rushed to the zoo after receiving a 911 call only to find out that the target was a mischievous monkey. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is hilarious on a different level. And I want to end that up with that note because I want to make this video short. It takes forever if I make this video 20 minutes. So until I get internet, regular internet, I just going to do it like a short version for you guys. Thank you so much for following us in Efraín Rodríguez Jr. show. Subscribe to the channel, like this channel, and share it with your friends and family. Maybe you got kids that don't know Spanish and can probably laugh at this guy talking in this broken, broken 80% English. Wrong a new disclosed area. En Palma Sola, Villalba, Puerto Rico. Efraín Rodríguez Jr. In Efraín Rodríguez Jr. Show. God bless you. And I'll see you around. See you tomorrow. Take care.